What's up everyone today? This is an electric toothbrush. Don't work that well no more. Uh, I got a new one, better. And today we're gonna take apart this one and see what's inside. First step is to remove the toothbrush head. Put that aside. And next step is to use a wrench and grab here and then twist. And then it should pop right out. Something fell out. This could be some kind of joint that will connect it. So it basically converts, um, I believe, rotational movement from there, from the motor, to linear. Is it? Linear movement? I don't know that's what it's called, but you know when something uh, goes like this, from side to side or up and down but not turning in a circle. I don't know what's the technical term for that. This is basically what um, spins back and forth really to make the toothbrush head spin back and forth. Oh, I got some grease on my hand. See, just like that. Which then is converted back into rotational movement up here. You see that? How it moves when I do that. Right, there's a rubber seal to keep water out of the inside. Put those parts aside. And here is the electronic components. Here are the electronic components. Let's see what's in there and what can be removed first. Just telling you still, oh, there's a spring in there. Not sure for what, but it still works. That's, there's a battery in there and it hasn't completely discharged yet. Have a look. I can power on and off. All right, it looks as if there's a couple clips in there that holds the electromagnetic charger in there. It's somewhat like wireless charging, but it's not wireless charging. It kind of is because you just gotta rest it on the charger and it'll work. So I guess it's a form of wireless charging, but I'm not, sure. not exactly sure. All right, let's see how we can remove that. Looks as if I pull here. All right, we got one side of it. Oh, it just snapped back in place. Yeah, you gotta pull on that. Pull, oh, I'm trying to hold the screwdriver in there. Hold it. Oh. Well, there are two sides. Almost seems as if that's holding on to the battery somehow. Yeah. Guess they used the soldering iron at the factory to do a lot of this. Oh, I snapped the board. Okay, but that's just the connections that go to the motor and the power button. Alright, has I'll need a soldering iron, I don't have one. We're gonna just use, we're just gonna cut those terminals that go to the motor. That would be here, is one of them. Snip that, and the next one which is right here. Did I get it? Maybe not. But the motor itself should be free. Uh, 
Oh, it looks like that. It's just held in by clips. Oh, another clip is right here. And then the thing that holds the, the gears in there, which this falls out. And the motor is free. Some paper around the terminals, I guess, to prevent from short circuiting. Something like that. I have a 9 volt battery somewhere. Hang on. See how it will run when it's outside. Not bad. Wait, it's stuck. Okay. Still runs, good. And let's see how that is held in place. Oh, it looks like right, just right by that, uh, that plastic peg that sticks through it. Yep, that's it. It's a little plastic peg that holds this part of the board in place. Here you have the battery. I'm going to snip the terminals to it. More clips holding this on or solder. Now that was what holds the electromagnetic charger terminals. Or I'll just call the wireless charger. Don't know what I'm talking about. Or just the charging terminals on there. It's off. And then just one more terminal holds the battery. Here is the battery. Let's see, is it comparable to a double A sized battery? It's almost identical. Yep. Let's see the voltage. doesn't say anything. Hmm, that's odd. It doesn't say anything on the battery about uh, voltage. But it does give a positive and negative terminal. It tells you where it is. Right, it looks like a double A battery, but it's probably not. There's nothing about voltages on the board. This is the controller. I believe there's a timer in there. It'll turn off eventually. Because, I don't know, there's a healthy, you know, to, to keep your teeth healthy, it, it will turn off in a sad amount of time. Or, you're supposed to brush for that amount of time. So, yeah, that is what you have. I kind of like how that is made. It's copper. Right, let me lay these parts out. The board isn't supposed to be broken, but, well, it is. So what are these? There are some like I found these. What are those? They were actually in here. Not sure what they are. Let me check the board. Anything it connects to? Yeah, it doesn't look like it connects to anything. It just looks like it's it's there. And they're made of plastic, I believe, not metal. Let me try to they're plastic. The magnets inside the motor don't, doesn't catch on it. The two little plastic cylinders. Here's the board which shouldn't be broken if I had taken it out correctly, but it's fine. It would have looked something like that. So that stays like that. Just gonna lay out all the parts for you to see. battery. Try to stand it up. Okay, that's good. A spring, weirdly enough. I don't know what it does. The gear shaft, the toothbrush head, this, and the cover. I could take this apart, but... Ah, eh, why? 
So you have all that, and that's what makes up a toothbrush, an electric one. This is a very simple electric toothbrush. Uh, nothing really special about it, but there it is. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh yeah, um, have you heard of Captain Morris Productions, the older channels? The ones that have been deleted before? Uh, I did take apart one of these. So I just did it again. Why not? Because it's not on this channel. Well, I'll see you next time.